<laughs> hey. Hey. <laughs> hey, the bar. <laughs> yes, that hog? The, the bar. What? <laughs> um, what is the... <laughs> this is... Okay. What is... <laughs> um, what is Blount's <laughs> favorite city in the world? I don't know what's his favorite city. Dubai, 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 Dubai. <laughs> <laughs> Headshot Ken. How sad. On that joke <laughs> for weeks. <laughs> oh gosh. Well, good night, everybody. There is no way I'm going to top that out, so we might as well interrupt this playthrough and end the year as we speak. <laughs> okay, let's just end the recording right now then. Boop. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but no, seriously, yeah. it has been too long. Okay, so last session we ended on us finding out our. Wanio, who has been turned to a butterfly by Forbalus, as the voice acting from the CD version calls him, but we, but me and Madhog call him Forbalus. Well, I at least call him Furbalus, because that's how he was named in the Italian version, which is the one I own. Ah, right. It's just that in the English version he's called Forbalus, but for some reason I call him Forbalus. <laughs> I have to wonder how his name would sound in French. That's a good point, actually. Some of these names probably sounded different in French. Like, Forbelus. Forbalu. Yeah, possibly. So, yeah, and you may be wondering where our parent friend has gone off to, but he got kind of kidnapped and put in this store. Well, let's visit the store immediately, then. Oh, I don't know. I just, I see this... This very tempting thing over here, this lever. So tempting. Blount, don't pull the lever. Pull the lever. Oh. Well, that was anticlimactic. Oh, hello, Nan. Why are you sticking your head out the window constantly? Help! I'm stuck. <laughs> Aww. She has a yes. hole in her chimney. Well, yes, also, also, she's stuck. Her head is stuck <laughs> in the window. We... Well, she lived a long life, so. Yeah, so. Uh, that's a rather tragic ending to the latest episode of Downtown Abbey. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's go into the store. Now, this screen has a lot of things that I am feeling nostalgic about in this particular screen. Okay, so we have a piece of spaghetti over there for some reason. Oh, there is always a piece of spaghetti somewhere in these games. Let's check this cupboard over here. Oh. No, oh, that's no, that's that we can't we can't do anything with that. Yes. Oh, but we are sofa. not strong enough. Looks like we're waiting. Ah, uh, excuse me, sir. That would be my sofa. <laughs> 
imagine that you enter somebody's house you don't even talk to them and you just sit on their sofa sleeping <laughs> instantly that's yeah. incredibly rude like dark side <laughs> whoa <laughs> I was waiting for that. <laughs> I was waiting for that as well, actually. I was wondering why the heck it wasn't coming up. Uh, let's try and get the spaghetti. This guy thinks that my curiosity has a limit. You can't touch my spaghetti! It is my spaghetti! Nobody touch my spaghetti! Nobody touch my spaghetti! Yeah, he doesn't want to be disturbed. Are you sure, good shopkeep? Uh, are you playing crosswords? Alright, <laughs> <laughs> alright. Right. I have a letter for him. Here you go. Yeah, you, I mean, what's right. up with this guy? Okay, how about a bit of bribery here? And then we give you the letter. He seems very trustworthy. Very. What the oh heck? boy. What was that for? I, I... Oh, okay. Captain! <laughs> Damn you, Captain McAllister! Seriously. It's too bad we cannot go back and. Beat him up a little bit. No, too, too bad we can't do that. Anyway, so that letter very conveniently did get us rid of that rat over there, which was preventing us from getting items. Yeah, I should have showed that off actually now I think about it, but I didn't really think about it. Okay, so I'm going to <laughs> take that egg, then step back, then go back and get the key, and then step back again. <laughs> That's a very efficient way to exercise my motor skills. <laughs> okay, so we have a key and, well, some other things. Yes, what's indeed. In the, what's in this nightstand? Nothing. Hey, have you tried that meat over there? That seems conspicuously oh. delicious. Yes, it does. Yeah, it sure does look delicious, Blount. Oh, this trap. Hello? What? Oh no! Oh no, I've seen enough and I do know where this is going! I've seen enough Discworld to know where this went! <laughs> oh yes, that's even worse actually. <laughs> oh, a button. Ooh! I want this don't button? press the button, Blount! But I want to! <laughs> okay, ah, maybe spiders. not. Spiders! Maybe not. The boy, 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 the Whoa. Blount. Are, oh. are you okay? Um, well, this oh. is interesting. <laughs> These sound bites are a tad off. Yeah, they are. <laughs> well, here he is. <laughs> Oh my gosh, yes. The shopkeep is in big trouble. So if you recall, he was beaten off and pretty much eaten alive by a wolf. Yeah. That has a fair few side effects. Yep. Why am I suddenly reminded of that awful 1970s Scooby-Doo clone with a werewolf? <laughs> this is reminding me of that for some reason. <laughs> Oh, there's some soap here, but we can't do anything about it. If only we had an assistant. I know, if only. Can we do anything about this button? <laughs> oh, come on, <laughs> really? <laughs> He's still afraid of spiders. I can tell. 
Okay, let's check the shopkeep. Oh my god, he looks so concerned. Yep, as he should be. Okay, the tables have turned, shopkeep. Yes, and I'm going to flip a table on you, sucker! The boy, 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 the boy. Yeah, maybe there is a way to persuade him. Yes! Let's take his spaghetti! Just eat him! That's a way to persuade him, right? We have a golf club? <laughs> uh, no, he doesn't want to use it. No, that. we're going to need a hammer for that. Well, well, we need to find one then, so... That's one way to coming out of the closet. Uh, well, it's a cupboard, but still... I'm... Okay, oh, you wait. actually need to oh, jump on there. Yeah, I know, there, from yes. there. I was wondering how I was gonna jump, and then I realized, oh, there's this cornice piece. No, no, no. Right here. There we go. <laughs> Let's see what's in here. An opening! Oh, his name is Wolfie? <laughs> yep, his name's Wolfie. <laughs> Come enjoy the ride with Wolfie and friends! <laughs> okay, there's nothing in there. How about we destroy his sofa as well? That seems like a great idea. You know what? Your sofa is terrible, and you are a terrible host. <laughs> I like how he just—I like how he laughs while jumping up and down like that. <laughs> okay. Shopkeep. Hey, shopkeeper. Hammer time. <laughs> oh, he dropped our coin for us. Let's get that back. So, and then I believe... We, and then we hit him again! <laughs> yes. Because it's amusing. Ah, you'll survive. It's just a couple of concussions Let's after all. Let's do that all. again. Well... Now we <laughs> <hit him>. <laughs> <laughs> His brosofs? Okay. Bye. All right, so we have a sidekick to recover. Hey, chump. Hi, chump. <laughs> Bye, chump. <laughs> it was nice knowing you, by the way, chump. And he's gone, yes. For the uh, he's gone. <laughs> for the rest of the game, he is not a part of anything. So, yeah, that was useful. Okay, so let's open up this cabinet over here. This hammer has many uses in the screen. Yes, it does. What's the heck? I could use a decoy to catch a Bucassia. I think it's a bird, I think. I wouldn't know about that. I think it is. This does sound like a very French name that was not translated. Let's get... Yeah! Whoa! All right. All right. All right, you head tentacle monster. You asked for it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I did not mean that. <laughs> no. Okay. Maybe use it with the meat. Nope. I'm pr I'm pretty sure we're supposed to use something on this trap. We actually need a new sidekick to press the red button over there. So we'll be back, shopkeep. I'll be back. <laughs> oh, good. Well, it seems like Blount has a bit of whereforeism going on. Lycanthropy. Yeah, of course. Fang face! Every 400 years, a baby werewolf is born into the Fangsworth family. And so, when the moon shined on little Sherman Fangsworth, he changed into Fang face! <laughs> Okay, so we have a young lady here. Hey, young lady. Why is her head also sticking out somewhere? I'm sorry, is everyone stuck at their windows? <laughs> <laughs> it seems like it. Uh, okay, so we can't do anything with that. We can go up. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
Pesky. Let's, Pesky mirror. Let's go up here. I believe we can do one thing at least. For this old lady. No, not that. We open this up. There you go. Now her roof is fixed and she'll be nice and cozy. So, everything should be fine now, right ma'am? So, do you need help to get unstuck from the window? She gave me a hot water bottle for fixing the hole in her roof. I will do something right now for later. Yes. Wait, don't you need to fill the bag with actual water first? We'll have to see if this works or not, because I'm curious if it actually does have water in it right now. It does, it would seem. And apparently it is forever hot. Aw, look at the thing, it's so good. Hmm, dinner. Oh, it's a Bukasia. There it is. This miracle of life is so cute, but it acts like it's starving. Well, we don't yes. have anything for it right now. We shall fatten up the bird and then we shall eat it. Yes! <laughs> yes, we will, shall do that. For the... uh, there is a way to go down from the chimney over there. Oh, okay, let's try it. Or not. I can't get there. Right, so at this point we might as well enter the third area in this particular section of the map. I believe I've already said this before, but just in case I haven't, I was actually stuck on this part of the game. You have. You have said that many multiple times. And for a good reason, oh, as oh, you will oh. see. Okay, let's try the doorbell. Hey there! Nice to meet you, Gandalf. Okay, so he's happy for that. Oh yes, he was the one who made the elixir for the dragon's memory. Yeah. Nice world building. Oh no, he used all the ingredients. Uh, now... Okay, we can go inside. Let's go in. And there is no trace of him anymore. Okay, advice for safe use of the magic lab. Only, right. only the right hand can pick up objects, only the left hand can manipulate things. Every object or ingredient has a determined place in the room. A successful mixture must be poured into the correct container. The ingredients that make up the memorum may be useful. Speed elixir and wing elixir can be absorbed? So, you might be wondering, looking at this set of instructions, just what in the world is happening here? This is happening. Oh look, it's the goblin for the first game, Dwayne! Oh, and by the way, by the way, um, we missed out on a cutscene here, which would be present in the CD-ROM version. Oh yeah, there was one. The cutscene actually shows Blount's ends rebelling from their creator and punching him. I have no idea, I don't have any context as to why his hands suddenly went their separated ways, but here we are. Uh, yep, this is the thing. So now we have to use these hands, these hands, to craft new elixirs. Yes, let's see. What's this one? The memorum consists of a dash of pain with a few tears of joy. I do not think we need that one specifically. Watch it, we'll forget one ingredient, I bet, somewhere for one of these. Oh, elixirs. yes, we will. We'll definitely will. Mix a broken shell, cooked spaghetti, and horn ashes to make a growth elixir. Ah, the horn, the moose's head. Yes. Oh, hi, Hooter and Bobo. <laughs> Actually, let's get our partner while we're... Well, we're going to get the eggshell. To be... Yes, at the very least. Oh. And... Come, on. Come on. Come on, you can do it. You can come, on. come to life. Come to life, yes. 
Oh, life uh, finds a, a way. <laughs> a, ba a baby boa boa. He's a cute little guy. So, it's, I'm glad Master Hand and Crazy Hand are here to be in this game. <laughs> okay, it's nice that you are... Uh... Wait, you two are hands. How are you talking? They do sign language. That did not seem like sign language to me! <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's just put this in here. Yes, we need to create ash from the shell. Let's do that. And there we go. And... Okay, so... We're gonna need a horn, sadly. Yes. Which we, uh, we can cook the spaghetti if we want. Using the growth flex will make things grow faster. Hey, yeah. let's cook the spaghetti. Yes, we shall cook the spaghetti. Let's cook the spaghetti. You touch my spaghetti, you die because it's my spaghetti. <laughs> oh, gosh. Okay, so I'm trying to remember which uh, machine we have to put the... I th oh, I think it's that one over there. It's an empty pot, so you would have to assume that is the case. Let's put the water in the kettle. Let us get our spaghetti, which is over here. Spaghetti! We are doing science, everybody! Yes, we are cooking dinner with science! <laughs> and... Let's uh, get the cooking. Okay, so we should have a our... cook of the spaghetti, <laughs> which is now up there. Yes. Okay, so what are we missing? Uh, I know we're missing the horn, but we mm -hmm. have the shell and the spaghetti. Yes. Okay, broken shell, cooked spaghetti, and horn ashes. What's that little bottle over there? Which one? Oh, it's On the, the, it's, it's, right. the, it's the memorum potion. Oh. Okay, so we're gonna have to leave, sadly, because I neglected one thing. Yes, me too. Honestly, my memory of this particular area is a tad scattered, as it were. Yeah, sadly, the whole game for me, while mostly it's familiar, I will forget certain details or order of things. This area is particularly convoluted because of all that alchemy business. Okay, let's go up. Boingy, boingy. And then... Vandalism! Yay! On the Guido dial, I think it's... Hey! What? Hey, shopkeeper! Do you mind if we break your stuff? No? Okay. <laughs> well, he was gonna eat out parrot, so... Yes, and now our parrot is both alive and traumatized. Yay! <laughs> bit disappointed that the music for when the, we first saw the wolf uh, doesn't stick around in that shop for some reason. I oh yes. I could have sworn that that music does stick around in that shop. Especially in the version I, mean, I played. Uh, Devar, that's what you get for playing the floppy disk version. No, no, I have a memory of that actually being a thing, in, even in my version. So, I actually don't know why that it's not a thing in this one. Okay, so now we need to make the horn. We need to make it brittle. So let us put this on this ashtray over here. Okay, so can you remind me what does the right hand do? Because the right hand picks up items and uses them while the other operates machinery. Ah, okay. Because I thought one hand was the inventory hand while the other hand was the punching hand. <laughs> because that's usually how it works in these games. Okay, so now we have this burned horn. Mm-hmm. And I think we basically need to... Oh, not that. Just pour the burned out horn inside the alchemy machine. Oh, right. Yeah, we don't need to do anything now to it other than this. Exactly. Right. 
Okay, now, so now add I have the that. spaghetti. Yes, we get the spaghetti. Mm, delicious cooked spaghetti. <laughs> I'll glow in the boy. I need all the, the nutrients. <laughs> okay, so where was the last thing? The oh yeah, the shell is in here. Oh good. Okay, so I just needed to. Uh... And now we put a dash of egg for protein. Mm -hmm. Delicious. And then. Lefty, come over here. The master hand was able to make us the growth elixir. Okay, so, yep, that's the growth elixir. Okay, so I should actually give a proper context here. The end goal of the entire area is to gather the ingredients to make an elixir. Yes, we're here to make uh, the wing elixir, essentially, to get past to the next screen, essentially. Yes, we literally will have to fly over to the next area using magic wings. Ooh. Ooh. But yeah, first things first, we need an animal test subject. Hey! Yay! It's our new partner, Fulbert! <laughs> Hi, Fulbert! <laughs> Fulbert. Okay, that's his name. He'll be our main source of a companion for the most of the game. He will. That's actually pretty nice. I can't recall... I can't recall the last time in which a game had you journey with a snake sidekick. That's true, actually. Not many of those. Uh, Snakes are usually portrayed in a negative light in all of media, so this is different. Yeah, okay. Let's pet him. Aww. Yeah, he says he always wanted to travel the world. Yes, ever since I was a small snake five minutes ago, <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to travel the world. <laughs> okay, so now that that is the thing, we need to make another for ourselves, for our own per use. Shall I'm we? pretty sure you already have it. Well, we need to put the completed elixir in a bottle, if I'm correctly, because... The bowl is now empty. Mm. Okay, so now we make another batch. Because I consider Fulbert a good sign that our animal experimentation is a success. Yes. This makes us officially better scientists than the scientists in Baggy, the monster of mighty nature, Navar. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 <laughs> yeah, true. Okay, so now we've done that. Let us actually okay. look what's to next? see what's the next uh, potion we're going to be making. We need to see what will be our next set of ingredients. Mixed boiled shoe, sole, crushed bone, and florian extract to get speed elixir. Okay, so we need that desperately for certain puzzles. By the way, I do like the um, saliva dispenser that allows you to turn pages. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a, that's actually quite a neat little... Uh, Detail. Well, a neat little device. Okay, Indeed. so let's leave the shop for now. For now. And here we have Fulbert. Oh, Fulbert. <laughs> Oh, oh gosh. Oh gosh, that's annoying. Oh gosh. Oh, that's incredibly annoying. Oh, oh, oh no. Dear. Yes, oh dear, indeed. Right, so we're going to need to uh, look for Shoe Soul, which so happens to be right over there yonder. Yes, indeed. Mm, let me think now. Oh, wait, first things first, we're gonna, we have two things to... Ah, here we are, the growth elixir. We have a couple of things to grow. Uh, is the plant named Bud? <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh. And now it's called... Oh, it's a Florian stem. That's just what we need. 
surprisingly. Uh, let's just go over here. Water this plant. Okay, so that will be our ticket to uh, getting Fulbert up here as well. Indeed. So... But first things first. Yes, place Blount atop the wrecking ball. There is nothing wrong with that sentence. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's get on the wrecking ball properly since it's a time puzzle, apparently. Apparently. What isn't a time puzzle in this game? Okay, so Fulbert, now that we've done that, get up this plant. Fulbert is totally underrated as a character. Yes, I must say, Fulbert is the cutest snake. Yes. <laughs> okay, let's just get you close so then Fulbert can make a bridge to that. Oh, oh, oh. No. Oh, yes. Don't you like a multi-purpose partner? Yes, so let's get this. Ah, Fulbert, you are so much better than that chump. What was his name again? <laughs> <laughs> Chump. <laughs> Chump. <laughs> okay, so now we have Shul Soul. So then we need the Florian and the Bone. I can only remember where the Bone is. The Bone is where the meat is, is where the tentacle monster is. <laughs> okay, so let's get off this place. Uh, Somehow. Oh, the chimney. You have to oh, use the right, chimney. Oh, right, the chimney. Okay, so where will we come out of once we take this chimney? Ho ho ho! Merry Christmas, Wait, everyone! <laughs> how, how did we... We came out of this woman's house. It's on the wrong house! On the wrong roof! <laughs> okay. Oh. Let's just go in and get some bones. Bones! Full bird, old buddy. You know what I like about you? You're not scared of werewolves. Yeah, that's true. He's, he, I'm surprised he doesn't say much about the whole, you know, we're werewolf now. Okay, let's get the soap. <laughs> <laughs> ah, Fulbert, you're so much better than what's his green face. I've become so numb, I can't feel you there. Anyway, let's just get going. We need to. Uh, Yes, we need Fulbert. You, you know, have you met spiders before? Maybe we should check to see if you're not got a phobia against them. Mr. Spider! Surprise! <laughs> <laughs> I like how he's just flexing <laughs> as he yep. waits. Okay, so now we have this scenario where the meat has fallen to the trap. This is why I thought we could do this straight away. It's my meat! <laughs> okay, and now we have ruined this man's life officially. We broke his mobilia, we destroyed his uh, memorabilia, we uh, vandalized his couch, and we Ransacked. brutalized his pet. <laughs> yes, and ransacked the place while we're at it. Yes, that's all he deserves. Okay. Oh, and we also gave him a couple of concussions. I should have given him another one, but, you know, uh, maybe later. Do you think it's now the right time to grow the cheek? Might as well, while we're here. I mean, sadly, we will not have 
much use for him until we get the speed elixir. Oh yes, once we get the speed elixir, we also get one of the most ridiculous and convoluted time puzzles in the entire game. It's downright befuddling. And look at him, he's now a big chubby verb. Hey, remember the story of the beautiful little chick who grew up to be a really ugly swan? <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so let us go up here, because we want to get something. Hey, lady, lady, buy some apples, buy some apples. <laughs> Let's see, what is this? A love letter? To who? No, you should use that with the mirror. Yeah, I know. I just I want to see what the love letter said on it. This love letter from the alchemist is written on the back of a recipe. Interesting. So the alchemist wrote a love letter using a page of his manuscript for this woman. That's incredibly silly. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Okay, so I know we need to. Uh, no, I want that. I will. Uh, uh the bar. Oh, good, I got it. Okay, you did. It's just I. I was trying to get a hold of it before it goes into that grate. Now, unfortunately, you can only wait for it to touch the grate. Oh. Okay. Kick the grate. <laughs> No, we're not kicking grates. Ross is not here for that. Okay, now we have the ingredients that we need for this particular... Yes, yes, we know. So, with that, we need to... Uh, read what we need to do again with this. Okay. Aha! Boiled shoe sole. Crush bone and Florian extract to get speed exer. Yes. Okay, so let us first things first. Uh, grab that. Uh, let's turn off the water. We don't want to be wasteful. I have put in water in it first. Oh wait. Oh never mind. Let's it's I don't think it registered that water went into it. Let's do that again then. And then let's turn that off. There we go. That is a weirdly pedantic aspect of this game. Yes, very odd. Okay, so we're gonna boil the shoe sole. Mmm, boil the shoe soil. Delicious. It's not quite a spaghetti. <laughs> not quite, but still a delicatessen. <sighs> and then. Now we have this shriveled up piece of a worm sort of thing going on and let me see now I believe now we need to uh... there we are we have bo a bone to pick <laughs> well I'm glad you find it funny <laughs> okay so now we just need to Crush the bone. I believe the we need to put the in the still the flower. Okay. Let's light this up. Science. <laughs> Somehow. Yes, science somehow. Okay, so now 
we can make our next aspect of our potion dealings. Florian extract. Some bone powder. Boil shooter. I must say, this soundtrack is rather captivating. It is, isn't it? That was weird. Boyle's Shoe Cell had the same animation as uh, the Ashes. Oh well, hopefully it will work fine. Wait till it's done with stripping. And we have a speed elixir now. You have no idea how useful that is going to be. Oh, I know. <laughs> Right, so now we have the speed elixir. Before we leave, though, we want to uh, look up on one last thing. Mix Florine's extract crushed shell and crushed bone to make Poofixer. Uh, I don't think we need that. I don't even know what a Poofixer is. Oh yes, the Poofixer elixir. It's completely useless. Yeah, I knew it'd be useless. I don't know why. I, I think it's written somewhere in this area that the poofix here is entirely pointless to make. Yeah. So that's just... I don't even know why they added it here if it's pointless. It's just to make you waste time. Why did you go back to the beginning again? So, really, we should read that back of that love letter again. Indeed. The wing elixir makes flight possible when consumed. See the oh, so that's where it's written. When fast motions are needed, the memorum potion restores all forgotten memories. The poofixer potion does nothing at all. Yes, nothing at all! Why is it in the book? <laughs> I don't know. Alchemy! <laughs> Science! Okay, so now we're here. Again in this... Okay, now there is this puzzle. I sense that we will need to try multiple times okay. on this one. So we need Soap Bubble, Tears of Joy, and Bukasia Feather Ashes. Okay, so we have the soap. But we need the Bukasia's Feather Ashes. As for the Tears of Joy... Hmm... It did say the Memorum Potion could be useful for something. Mm-hmm. Okay, so the first things first we're going to need to do... Did you do something with the bell over there? Yeah, I, I was thinking about that. Basically, I'm trying to... Because you're supposed to use the Bukasia decoy signal thing with the uh, yes with the bell you, you use that and then uh, something happens yeah we have to use it with the bell but before that yes let's drink blound don't give me that drink it this is important okay this puzzle is a nightmare it's quite a puzzle let's put it that way let's Get under this bell. Okay, let's get. Okay. Okay, we get down really quickly. Oh! Yes. That is literally what you had to do to get a feather. You couldn't just, you know. Grab one from the parrot over there. No, you had to go through <laughs> this absurd length in order to procure one for yourself. So let's recap. <laughs> let's summarize what you needed to do in order to get one single feather from a bird that wouldn't even fly. You go to the bell. You... <laughs> you use the decoy within it. You use the decoy inside the bell to amplify the sound and then... A female bird comes down. You must have already drunk your speed elixir potion, by the way. And then you use your snake as a bridge. 
and then you go tap the shoulder of the bird over there to notice the female bird, and then the feather comes down inexplicably as he notices her, and then you have to run all the way back to the center of the square in order to get the feather just right before it gets lost forever in the sewers. Yes. <laughs> this is absolute insanity. <laughs> uh, I mean, the puzzles, the timing puzzles aren't as... Off. How were you ever supposed to figure this out? I like how he's like going at the speed of sound now, though. Running around at the speed of blount. Okay, I think we can just go back to the lab now. This is... Just ridiculous. I cannot stress enough how <laughs> ludicrous these games are. Yeah, the Goblin games are a bit silly sometimes. Oh, a bit, you say? Yes, a tad. A tad. Yeah, yes, a tad. Okay. Let's go with that. Okay, so first things first, we're gonna need to set up for a bubble. Off the water? Hmm. Pour it into the bowl over here. I like how the, the we look like we poured it behind the bowl and not into the bowl for some reason. Okay, did it say we had to burn the feather actually? Yes. Okay, so we burn the feather. Let's bring that over here. After all the trouble we went in order to get ourselves a feather, we have to burn it. Yep. Well, it's going to a good cause. Science! Yes, scientific causes. Oh, wait. We're going to make a man fly. You will believe a goblin can fly. Soap up the bubbles. I mean, soap up the water. <laughs> That's totally how it works. Okay, do we have to... I'm pretty sure there's something for us to do with this. Hmm. Think... Stick to the ingredients for now. Well, we need Tears of Joy, and this is the only thing I can think of where Tears of Joy comes oh, from. Oh, yes. This is a bit of a logic stretch, don't you think? It's incredibly You need to sick. essentially reverse engineer a memorum in order to get tears of joy okay so now we've done that we need to do one incredibly well it... again this is another bit of a logical leap isn't it yeah so let's do this you use the key oh, no. with the soap and water and you have a bubble blower which makes sense right Yes, but you can't blow yourself because Blount's mouth did not come along with us. Oh, yes. So... Luckily, there is a fan there. Our biggest fan. You is... made this joke so many times, you have no idea. <laughs> Apparently there's a... Oh, wait, there's a coin. Yes, where is the coin when you need it? Oh, it's over here. So, I thought it was just a simple button press, but apparently it's not. It can never be that simple, can it? No. Now get the key. Yes, I'm getting Quickly. the key. Quickly. Oh no, <laughs> the, bu the bubble is gone. Oh god. Okay. Please do not stop while I'm just getting this sorted. Oh good. <laughs> And the bubble just conveniently goes there. Yep, into the machine. Good. So now we just need to get the feather ashes. Put that in the mixer. And then finally, we let our dreams and uh, nightmares take flight in tears of joy. How deep? Hey buddy, tap that machine, will you? And with that, 
We should get the final potion. The potion to grow wings. And we'll put that into the last bottle over here. Whoa! That was fast! Once again, <laughs> we are missing a section of the cutscenes here. Yeah. Yes. But I'm glad they left the funnier part. <laughs> <laughs> Left it out instead. But finally, the islands close to this country of Foliandre are in sight. Okay, so now here we are in this really nice looking screen. Right, show us to the map. Yes, I actually forgot to show the map. Uh, okay, here's the map. We're here right now. And this is attached to this area over here. We were actually in these three places earlier. Blount must find out the identity of the curious speck and then discover the means to free it. This will be easy with the help of Ouya. Okay, and speak of the devil. Hmm. Or the wizard in this case. Right. So, as I was saying, we were missing a few key cutscenes in the take flight scene, if you will. Yeah. Oh, look, full button in our inventory. Along with the growth elixir, a club, and a coin. Don't know why we did not take the other elixirs with us, but okay. Hi, I'm here. <laughs> and we are like, is that a snake in your pocket? Are you happy to see me? <laughs> uh, oh yeah. Let's talk to him. Because we totally know him. Oh gosh, this again. <laughs> the meteorologist gave me a ride and left me here. Now the tide has risen. Okay, so we need to get Ouya over here before he can be of any assistance to us. Mm -hmm. So first things first, let us try and help him. I'll be able to do some fishing, I hope. I haven't forgotten how. Okay, so... I do not know why that's a thing, but I guess it's to, you know, avoid having to do the whole... Uh, you know, combining items in your actual inventory. I assume that would be the case. Let's do that. One now. less headache involving uh, game mechanics. <laughs> I can't catch anything. I need some bait. Uh, Fulbert, can you be bait? No way, no. Ha <laughs> no. No, we can't. Don't even joke about it. Now we have a knife. Aha! With this knife, I shall end the life of my enemies. Yes. Let's get some sandbags. Right, so there is a puzzle involving the balloon over there. Yeah, I believe so. I just need to figure out what that it would be. Uh, that's for when we get Ouya. Bod's meteorologist. He must forecast the always changing weather. Do you have anything else to say then? Big 
Nope, that's the same thing. This frogman is of no use to us. He's, yeah, he's really no use at all. Hey, look, it's a lovely ram over there. Uh, yeah, I do not see any reason why he'd be useful right now. Ha ha ha. Ha ha ha. Okay, so, we do need, we do have a use for the fishing rod right now. Bring that over here. Hey, did you ever want to stab a cloud? <laughs> nope, but I have done now again. Uh, it's of no use oh, right. until we did get whomever is the proprietor of that particular tuft of hair. Yeah, I remember now. We need Uya to get over here. Up. Yeah, so... Hmm... Well, let's go to the next location for now. Okay, well, Ouya will be back with you in a few moments. We just have to do some things first. Oh. Oh, and judging by the soundtrack, I'd say the tone is drastically far more serious in this area. Colossus. Ah, yes, Colossus. He is the man responsible for sinking your flying ship right at the beginning of the game. And this entire area is specifically designed to fight Colossus. Yeah. The end goal here is to beat Colossus. This is the closest you get to a boss fight in this game. We must deal with Colossus and destroy his rock thrown catapult. It seems that Colossus may be allergic to pollen. Well, we... And look who's up there, an old friend. Hello, Forbolus. I guess that's the end of Forbolus. How anticlimactic. I know, right? We thought he would be major in this story. <laughs> I see that you're only a footnote in this. You were caught by Colossus. Well, how about you, talking rubber? I wonder what it was for. Hmm. No, you can't do anything with the robot. Actually, you can. Um, use the knife on it. I did try to use the knife on it. But it seems like uh, I cannot. I think okay. it might be later we'll be able to do that. Yes, okay, this is one of those particular scenarios in which you need to know what to do in order to do it next. It's a very Sierra logic. Yes. <laughs> okay, so right. we... Hey there, Colossus, old buddy, old friend. How's the weather? <laughs> Get it? <laughs> Ow. Ow. That's not nice. He wants me to let him work. He has to stop the ships. Oh yes, that's working, isn't it? It's a By the way... There we go. Now we can have a telescope. And he doesn't... He's none the wiser. By the way, why don't you show us what happens? What occurs? when a sheep is spotted. Yep, we shall just tell him a little fib with Blount. Actually, I'm pretty sure there is an actual sheep that is spotting and we are killing it. There, a sheep! Oh, let's go. Yeah, I was a bit late in showing that, but there's a little mechanism that over here but basically where this thing smashes a rock which goes over to the shovel which basically sends it flying up here and then fires it this is the best automated catapult ever <laughs> it's ideal for the lazy guard indeed it is so we have to do a whole hullabaloo in order to take care of Colossus and his machine. Yeah, we do. Uh, okay. Oh, catapult loader controls. Okay, so I believe we want to... Not that way. I think that should do. 
I think. Mm, actually, I wonder what would happen. Let me actually let me double check that. Ah, it goes back to its original position. And yeah, I think that will do. We want to do that because mm, I just feel like as if something needs to be done. Okay, here. Uh, go back there to show what happens. Okay, I will do that. Okay, so Blount. Okay, so he presses those buttons. <laughs> <laughs> Now he has no helmet. Good. That will be important for later. Much later. Uh, sounds like we can't do anything with this cheese until Ouya is here. Oh, I have an idea. Yeah? Once we get Ouya, we should showcase a cute little easter egg. Okay, we will do that. Uh, okay, so we need to get back here. Because I don't think there's anything else. Hmm. Okay, so what do we need to do here? I'm trying to remember really how we need to get Ouya off that island and over here. Hmm. Hmm. Hey, use the telescope with that little purple speck. speck. Yeah, yes. let's take a look, see. Ah. This is Bizo, Bizu, a migrating flybug. She is so cold. Baby, it's cold outside. More like inside for her. What a weird name for a girl, though. Bizu. It sounds like Gazoo. Oh yes, because Blount and Ouya are totally normal names for guys. <laughs> right. Oh, oh yes. Wait, oh wait, now, I'm, now I remember what, it, what we need to do. Okay. By the way, I think this is as good a time as any to address how utterly inconsistent the art style of this game is. Yeah. It is clear that uh, several different artists have made several different cutscenes and it is so obvious and the quality and aesthetic changes drastically every time. Yeah, it's very, it's pretty uh, obvious. Okay, so now we have our giant friend over here, who is wide awake and up here. So how about we go talk to him, to this lovely gent. His feet are cold. And that was illuminating. <laughs> incredibly so. That's what happens when I do this. Now you're going to need a balloon for that. Ah yes, I remember now because he sneezes and he sneezes ooh yeah into oh, this direction. Well thank, well thank you good sir for showering me in snot. <laughs> Let's go make another balloon. No rush. Oh good, Blount. I was wondering where you were coming from. I mean, when you were going to be... Okay. So, ooh yeah, you need to get on this... on this balloon, and then... We need to start. Achoo. Oh, and that happens. Right. The ram is a bit of a problem, isn't it? And you cannot even interact with it. Yeah, it's true. just. That ram is this world's equivalent of the Lady of Pain from Planescape. Okay, so we need to... It has no stats, so you cannot defeat it. <laughs> Let's see, I believe uh, we need one more sandbag in there. I think. 
Either that or this is already a perfect uh, place for... Now another one should be enough. Okay. This is a very convoluted way to get rid of a ram. There we go. Animal abuse. <laughs> Bad animal abuse. Yeah. So, okay, so now we just need to... We made our ooh, own ooh, stone ooh. bridge. That's neat. It is pretty neat. Let's make ourselves one of these or two. And now that the uh, the goat is now incapacitated, actually, let's set something up for later because we need this. no 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 oh, no okay we can, yes, we need actually... it we need it up there. For... Yes, actually, yes. <laughs> Let's do this. Blount, uh, get moving. Get, move on. get moving, Blount. We haven't got all day. And now, we are here. We couldn't just grab him and transport him to that floating island literally two feet away from his own island. Nope. We couldn't tails this ordeal. No, we had to go through every single loop possible. This is what I never liked about this series in particular. Yeah, I know what you mean. Oh good, that has sent... <laughs> that has sent Ouya up there. Get into the basket. Hey, uh, does he have anything to say to the meteorologist? That's a good point, but now he's in there. Oh, okay, never mind then. Well, I have to try that out next time. Oh, wait, wrong. Okay, I did something wrong. But let's try, well, you know what, let's just do this anyway. He did not say a thing, even though he's talking. I can only assume he said something along the lines of, I have nothing to say to this man. Now, we have to do the laborious and slow means to get Ouya to the place we want him to be at. Uh, I can feel myself aging. I don't know. I felt myself aging from uh, from seeing uh, Rachel Gardner walk across the room and Angels of Death. Yes, well, top 10 I feel myself aging moments in video games. Number 10! <laughs> okay, so now we've got Ouya, we magicked up this bazoo. And I'm happy now! She finally seems to be warming up. Ha! And we can just take others like that. In fact, Bizu will travel with me for a while. We have yet another sidekick to our ever-growing collection of novelty sidekicks. Indeed. And it's going to be getting much, much more uh, convoluted. Yes, I think Blount must have the world's record for the most amount of sidekicks a video game protagonist could ever have. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so we need one thing for right, the screen. Right, since you have Ouya right now, we might as well show a little bit of fun. Yeah, just direct move to which one you want me to interact right, with Right, so... How about we get Blount on top of the catapult? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I think you know where this is going. Okay, Blount, get on the... <laughs> I think you know where this is going. Yeah, so... Okay, so... Just as it is, okay. send Ouya to the telescope. Now wait! He doesn't use nope, the telescope. he uses this one, which I... Oh, yes, because he cannot look at the telescope, apparently. Go back, go back, quick, 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 quick! 
And then... Bon voyage! The boy, the boy. I think he has just been to Dubai now. <laughs> okay, so... You go up there. There we go. And let's check this emblem here. It's the Queen's coat of arms. So now you know that Colossus is working for the Queen. That we do. Seems like a very nice lady to do that. Ah, uh, she is not nice at all. <laughs> yes, I know. Okay, so Uya is going to be chucked over here. Because we want him to do something to this cheese. Because we don't want the cheese itself. Oh, no, 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 no. We want the worms. Yes, and because Uya can't carry the worm for us. Now we have to go do it ourselves. Oh, boy. There are some a bit some laborious puzzles in this, aren't there? Laborious is to put it kindly. Well, it's the only word I can think of to describe this particular... Laborious is the PC way of putting it. PC. <laughs> okay, let's just get to casting the shadows away. Hi, Forbalus. Bye, Forbalus. Oh, speaking of which, I probably want to do something to Forbalus before we leave. There you go, Blount. I'm glad you're happy about this, because we want you to grab this worm. <laughs> oh, oh, it's stinky, isn't it? Okay, so we can't do that. So we're going to need to do this, I think. Yes, because we cannot combine items in the inventory. Oh yes, because the worm would definitely want to get on the hook of his own free wheel. Definitely, right? <laughs> okay, so... Actually, Ooh, yeah. since you're there, use your magic to the Colossus Shadow. Or, if you will, the Shadow of the Colossus. Uh. <laughs> oh. oh boy. Oh my gosh, I cannot believe it. It's literally the Shadow of the Colossus. <laughs> yes, literally. <laughs> oh, oh my god. Oh, we can't, we can't interact with the Shadow. Oh, uh, yet. But first things first. We are done with the screen. We'll be completely done with the other screen after we fish. Yes. Because we've done everything else on the screen. Dun, dun, dun. Hey, we have a sawfish. Okay, so there's a column over here that is... Ah, uh, yes. So our initial plan to get rid of Colossus was to... Destroy his amok. Pretty much. But that didn't work. Well, we're gonna try and see. We're gonna try and do this. Oh, yes. He was not going to notice at all. What was your idea again, Blount? <laughs> oh, no. It's this easily... <laughs> escapable cage oh no however shall I escape now well there's only one thing we can do the extent of my skills there we are that was necessary I actually do not know why the loading screen had to be different that time Right, so Shadow Blount is on the show. Yes, this is him now. Actually, let's let's talk to Four Balls with our Shadow. <laughs> I'm only a shadow of myself. Ah. Uh. Well, let's go talk to the literal shadow of the Colossus. 
<laughs> we are having this moment. We are having this moment, the most pantherific moment of all time. He's allergic to pollen, which we would have, which we already knew because the game spoiled it for us. Yes, but we needed to know that within the game. Yeah. I mean, the game needed to tell us. I mean, some NPC needed to tell us that at an appropriate moment. Oh, yeah, we can't do anything to this hole, can we ourselves? Wait, Fulbert, are you in our shadow pocket as well? Oh, wait, well, I know now. We need to break this machine so we don't have Oh, right. Okay, yes. so there's only one way to do that. Bizu, it's your time to shine, milady. It's your time to shine, yes. This is the most interesting screen in the game. That's right. Colossus' ugly-looking face is a screen in this game. <laughs> <laughs> it is a... <laughs> it's an unusual screen, isn't it? Yes, and once again, the art style is completely different for Colossus face up close. What do we get, then? Hi! <laughs> we just got uh, a toothpick. I must say, Bizu is adorable. Yes, Bizu is quite nice. And my gosh, <laughs> this man, this hairy, hairy man. He must have an entire family of them up there. Well, that's not at all. Let's work. Okay, so uh, let's try to go through his ear and see what happens. It's a shortcut. Uh. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> there is nothing here. <laughs> well, nothing in there. Oh, wait, you can jump on uh, the collar over there. All right. Let's just... Oh. I have to keep that in mind. <laughs> that will become useful to know that. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> Oh, but seriously, how does he not notice he has a bug on his face? <laughs> That's what I don't know. Oh! Okay, maybe that explains why. Oh, don't cry. Oh. Don't cry. Okay, so we need to start something off. I'm trying to remember how we okay, do Okay, so... Junior, please. So essentially... Yes, we need we to... We need to wage war to the entire family in order to beat up the father. Mimi Flea and My Gigi God. Flea. No, st stop doing that. Why did you do that? I wonder. If, I guess we have to walk over there. Okay, let's. I just love this. <laughs> You're bashing in the head the entire family. <laughs> Let's just walk over there. Or hop over there, so to speak. No, stop that. Okay, we get rid of it. Aww. Oh, yes, I remember this puzzle being incredibly frustrating. Okay. Why are you not appearing? Oh, there you are. Let's do this again. You you just bashed a baby in the head. Yes, we bashed well. a baby flea in the head. Okay, so get down there. Okay, and then we hit. hit. Come on, I'm, I'm, I was clicking them. Why are you being so sensitive? To how I click them. Just have the toothpick equipped when you go down there. Okay. Do not say that welcome to the jungle to them. That's something she would say only the first time. Okay. Oh look! Mama Flea! Sorry, you don't look like a good mother. 
And finally, Papa Flea is going down. Bye, Papa. And we have killed the entire family. <laughs> yeah. The entire family will not mess with us anymore. Oh, wait. We need something from him up here. Uh, you need to block the nose drill first. Yeah, but... Uh, okay, so... Let's block the nostril. There's something that we need in particular from his face, I believe. Yes, let's get to the nose again. Get to the nose again. Oh, wait. It's the. Get to the oh, nose okay. again! Ah, damn it, the bar! Let's do this. Okay, this time we got this. I actually do remember something that we do need to do. Okay, so... Hi! So what we're doing up here again? Oh wait, I think I know. We're, we're a bit too early for this area. There is something else that we need to get a hold of. And I actually do realize where we need to go get it. Yes, I think I know that as well. Off it goes. And let's take a, have a, a good uh, checkup on your eyeball here, good sir. You can't reach it though. Hmm. Just to go inside the here from uh, the right. No, I mean the right here. All oh, right. Uh, well. Okay, so let's go through the left ear then. No, I'm pretty sure that's the right ear. That's his right, but it's on my left. <laughs> yes, but I was considering his right. <laughs> right? Yes. There we go. We just have to do that. Okay, so now we have this. Okay, I know what we need to do now. Let's nose hair him. <laughs> yes. And then we need to kick the grain of sand onto the tear. Kick the grain. And down it goes. Literally down it goes, but we still need to kick it off from him. From his yes, person. Yes, we do. So we're going to need to go down there ourselves. I'm surprised the guy does not mind us messing with his face all day. I think his laziness is achieving levels of legends. Uh, okay, so kick off the grain of sand. This is the grain of sand that will ruin the machine. You know, I cannot fathom the idea that all of this, all of this that we are doing is finalized to get Colossus to sneeze! Uh, <laughs> <laughs> that is the only way we can take him out, apparently. It's ridiculous, but then again, what else is new? Let us put the grain of sand into the machine. And let the, the fatted dickel speck of sand has been placed now. Start the machine. Okay, Blount. Why don't you... Shadow Blount, I should say. Why don't you go tell the captain, like... Look, a ship in the distance! <laughs> oh wow, a shadow is telling me there is a ship in the distance. I must believe him! <laughs> Seriously, he does not ask any questions. Oh wait. There we go. And now... By the way, the inconsistencies between uh, Colossus now and the Colossus screen are astounding. Ish. His hair is not black, both his eyes are functional. <laughs> Actually, his hair is black, it's just it's very s small. Rather well, than... both eyes are functional, and also the colors are not exactly right. Yeah. 
So, okay, let's just put the gear into the hole. And what are you gonna do? Whoa! A ship! And it's dead. Yep. But he did leave something on his deathbed. Why would you have pollen inside of you? That's what I like to know. Okay. Well, nevertheless, this is what we need to do now. This is our life. Does Blount's shadow count as a sidekick? Actually, let's talk to Blount with Blount. He said that I look really pale. <laughs> Does the shadow count as a sidekick, though? That's what I want to know. Uh, well, if he's using Blount's items... Okay, so we need to get it on his face somehow. Ah, there we go. It was very particular about where to put it. And now... Which is not on his face. And now... There's a reason for the nose. We'll take for um, we'll take Colossus out in a fair few seconds. Indeed. We just need it, it feels like we spent a million years trying to get this guy to sneeze. <laughs> And get down there, Bizu. Right. And uh, there's the toothpick. So we, we established that there is nothing in between the ears, and so nothing would prevent the grain to just come out of the nose. Yeah. So let us put this grain. In. Do not throw it like blound. The grain of pollen is too big to help pass through the ear without help. But well, it's smaller than you, Bizu. How are you? I mean, never mind. Just use the shirt collar. Maybe Bizu has aerodynamicity. There we, I don't know. There we go. The pollen was stuck in his nose. He is going to sneeze. Help! You seem very happy about it, Bizu. <laughs> Bye, Bizu. We'll miss you. Oh, uh, here we go. Uh, uh, and this is how he takes himself out. Surprise, <laughs> Blount easily obtained a meeting with Queen Xena, who was flattered that he came from so far away. Suddenly, the room was filled with moonlight. And then, everything went wrong. And we are repeating the same animation from before. Yep, which happened in the CD version too, I believe. Yes, it did. It's kind of weird we don't see the reverse transformation, actually. And also, funny enough, we see Finkle and Winkle here. Yes, we get it! It's Goblins Free! <laughs> Okay, this seems like a good time to stop. Yeah, I believe so too, because uh, we have a queen who is really mad at us right now for existing. Werewolves? I'm on Team Edward, thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> Look at how shocked Miss Mrs. Pithy is. Miss Pithy! <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh boy, okay. And there's a cat over there, but... Yeah, we'll be sorting this mess out later, because I'm surprised the Queen is not happy about these, um, shenanigans. <laughs> oh boy. We are now here. We're not got far off till the end, actually. I believe we'll be done here for tonight, so... Anything else you would like to say before we shut in? Dubai, 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 Dubai. Be baggy boop, be baby boop, be baddy boop. Beep it up, beep it up, boop it up, beep it up. Ba boom, ba boom, ba boom, ba boom. End it. Yes. End it all. Yes. 
it will be ending. <laughs>